Thank you, McKenna. Happening now, week three of testimony continues in the murder trial of former Mount Carmel doctor William Husel. Matthew Herchik is live at the courthouse this morning. And Matthew, who is the jury hearing from this morning? Yeah, good morning, Matt. Well, the prosecution has called a pair of hospitalists to the stand this morning, including one who performed the discharge summary and death certificate for a patient that Husel treated in April of 2018. Dr. Genevieve Deekel says that her role as a hospitalist is much like that of a primary care physician, only in a hospital setting. Now, this morning, Deekel testified about a patient by the name of Jeremiah Hodge. Now, Hodge was admitted to the hospital on April 1st of 2018 after suffering cardiac arrest. She later died that same day. Now, Deacon was asked about the timeline of events that day over about a two hour span that included multiple attempts to resuscitate Hodge, who was admitted to the ICU. Dr. Husel was the ICU doctor that night when her family made the decision to take her off life support. Here you can hear the defense and prosecution both inquiring about that cause of death she listed for a patient she never saw. She was resuscitated after the COVID, correct? Yes. She didn't die. She did. She did not die. No. So then just to clarify, you did not review any of the medications that were administered by Dr. Husel to this patient? No. Now, Deagle testified that she performed the discharge summaries and death certificates less than a handful of times for patients that she never saw. She also testified that she wouldn't review a medical administration record adding for a deceased patient, adding that that would add nothing to her report. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated throughout the rest of the day. But for now, local for you in Columbus, Matthew Herchik, NBC4. Matt